Welcome, everybody, to the Manga Alert Podcast. Joining me this week, we have the lovely Base Senpai, our lovely guests that we love always having here on the show. And as a secondary reminder, we are the number one best podcast here in the manga community. So great that we have a Spotify that we would love for you all to check out because it is truly the greatest thing. But before we get into the introductions, let's just go ahead and roll the theme song. Can you see? Welcome back, everybody. Oh, so, I didn't even get to say anything before the theme song. What's well, up? You know what, Gear? I just said we're going to save the introductions for a later date, but this is the introduction, so go ahead and say your piece. Tell everyone how well you are. Uh, not well at all. After I got my cast off, um, I realized that my muscles are in very bad shape, so I can barely even move my hand. So it's actually worse now. So that's been fun. That sounds awful. Yeah, and we know who to thank for it. He's sitting right here in the call. Oh my us. gosh, who invited this guy on? I thought I thought it would be beneficial for us to invite Base this week to kind of get a little bit of like an intervention. And I was hoping today we would get an apology out of Base Senpai, just just to to be be repentful for what he had done. So, um, Base, if you could please give Garrus a sincere apology, we would love to hear that today. I would do it again if I was given the opportunity. <laughs> That was beautiful. All right. Thank you, Base, for that. All right. Well, welcome, everybody, to the Manga Alert podcast. Uh, continuing this week, we are going to just be doing the, the general discussion rather than the uh, topic discussion. On the next episode, we plan on doing a very lovely topic that we here at Manga Alert have been very much dying to do. We are going to be reading a Burn Kengen the Witch, baby. Ashura. Oh. Oh. And I guess I guess I'm gonna be starting this readathon that everyone here is doing. Gear has actually started Kegan Ashura, and he he actually likes it a lot. Can you, so, can, can I just intervene for a second? Can you just say it correctly, Kengan Ashura, or Ashura? No, you have Kengen, me saying it wrong now. Kengan Ashura. Ke, Kegan, Kegan Ashura. Kengan Ashura. Kengan. Well, man, I Kengen, dude, I'm American. I, I don't Ashura. speak Japanese. Kengan. I don't speak Ashura. Japanese. Ashura. Now you're making fun of my accent, okay? I don't know how much I, how much, how I feel about that. Like that, that is very offensive. It's not even an accent. They do not purposely saying it wrong, and it's bothering me. I'm just who said I was saying it wrong. I've, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I mean, right. Anyways, Kegan, Kegan Abura or whatever the hell it's called. Anyways, I'm gonna start reading that. Hopefully, get a good firm grasp on what this series is about because Base has been bugging everybody to read this series. I mean. Not just the people in the manga community, but his simp girlfriends that he's finding on Tinder. He's telling them to read it, even. And by that point, they're just leaving. They're like, I'm so done with this. Like, you're not recommending me Demon Slayer or Naruto. I'm getting the fuck out of here. That's that's so, not true. That's slander and uh, and just out just straight up lies it's all about base these days. you would have all the women in the world if you just said that you liked Demon Slayer. That is, a, it is but, a catch. It, but you it's, don't. It is the that's, best that's selling That's your manga. problem, man. That's your problem. What, what, what do you want me to do here? I, what do you want me to do? I don't know, man. I'm just saying be true to your feelings, but also just, just know that when you're wrong, you're wrong, you know? I haven't been wrong in a long time. <laughs> Actually, I have um, facts and receipts to uh, back up the base oh, was shit. wrong he, recently. He's got oh, the receipts. Oh my he's god! Got few, the receipts. A few months ago, we were talking about the the hit game Ghost of Tsushima, and Base was talking about how we think it would be a failure, how it uh, would, how well hold, how it would hold, underperform, hold, hold, hey, hold. and how it here. Would, hold on one second. Mm-hmm. Whoa! 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 This is out of my jurisdiction. I am not a video game uh, expert or enthusiast. I, I I don't dabble with um you know console gaming. So I I mean my prediction may have been off, but there, I haven't been wrong about a manga. Uh, you know, hot mm, take. Okay. In a All long right. Time. So so w- today on this episode, would you would you would you be able to let us know that you're just you're not a true gamer? 
No, I'm a I'm a real gamer with a capital G. But you predicted Ghost of Tsushima's like sales. You just you didn't get it right. You know what? I, no comment. Okay. All right. Well, I I'll I'll take that. I'll accept that. So, what have we all been reading? What have we all been doing? Well, I mean, since it was only last week we uh, recorded the well, last hang on. one. People so... don't need to know that we recorded this a week ago. People don't need to mm-hmm. know that. You mean you guys still haven't got the previous episode out? What? Well, hang on. This is, is that what? this is like Whoa! Dr. Dre, all right? This ain't the last episode, all right? <laughs> Is is that why we're not doing comment comeback because we haven't uploaded the last one yet? Uh, no comment. I mean, sure we could do combat, 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 combat. Com- comment combat. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm-mm. The worst actor ever to live. Yikes. There's better. Oh, okay. There's there's definitely worse too. Definitely worse too. I don't. So uh, okay. Steve Seagal. Well, well, base. Since you haven't been on in a while, what have you been reading? What have I been reading? What? Well, that's a good oh, no. question. I've been reading a lot of things. You guys may have known that I've been doing a 500 manga reading challenge for the year of uh, Perfect Vision, aka 2020. Um, I've been cranking out a lot of stuff, a lot of variety, and I'm excited to share that with you all today. Okay, so let, let's let's start. Let's let's just hit the nail on the so, head. So uh, I recently have, I read a delinquent manga called Out uh, last month. It was very good. Uh, yeah, it's about a delinquent getting out of juvie, and instead of the sta- you know the stereotypical, well, you know, I'm gonna go join a gang in a different city. He sh- actively tries to not join a gang, but he keeps getting dragged into gang warfare and stuff like that. A lot of side characters. Uh, it's kind of like so. It- isn't this isn't this just do rah rah rah? No 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 it's it's a lot better that's for sure. Uh, um, better right. than then, the anime or the manga? Both because dur- like what is it do do rah 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 is just not very good. Well I will agree <laughs> with you in the sense of the manga because the manga is god awful. I don't know who the fuck likes oh, that yeah. series. I really do not. Manga's a manga's a disaster i've been doing a read along with some uh, with an instagram friend of noragami i've been i read the first 14 volumes of noragami i really enjoy that series it's a fantastic manga it's very uh it's really good uh it's Mm. a shame it's been on my shelf so long unread uh i recently bought uh what is it aka 13 by it's my first natsumi ono work six volumes i read the first volume of that it's all right uh our what is it? The Daily Lives of High School Boys. Um, ah, uh, yeah. That one's That's a weird a... one. Ah, uh, yeah. Because um, I wasn't aware of what it was. I thought it was kind of just like a slice of life comedy, but I open up in the very first page is three boys wearing women's underwear. So I kind of was thrown <laughs> off at, right at the start. It, it, surprisingly it's so. It's the panty raid. It's it, the panty raid. They, they were wearing bras and skirts, and it was just, I was like very thrown off. The, the yeah, people. dude, have you have you not ever been on a panty raid with Mr. Krabs before? No, B- base, 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 I think you're just base doesn't hang on, hang on, so... hang on. Base does not understand SpongeBob humor because he's old. I love SpongeBob. He's he's I too was old. Actually old. He, he was like be... twenty when the show came out. Like, I think I was way past his prime by I think that I was point. Eight or nine when it came out originally, so I was definitely of age. I was gonna say like base is so far out of high school now that he just doesn't know what high school boys. But that do is at. also when, true. Back when, when he was in high when school. When in reality, like that's a very real. That manga is a yeah, very realistic. I mean, back when depiction. back when base was in high school, he was just in the chess club and the Glee club and you know all those dork clubs. Yeah. The know. anime club. He, he had frosted tips. Well, I didn't. You guys gotta remember, I didn't watch anime in high school. I I played varsity soccer and. I did. I discovered Whoa. anime and manga when I was what, 22, hit, 23, and I hit the base, I hit the prime of my manga existence at 24. And base see. life was just like he was just like a total like dork, like a soccer, chad. like come yeah, on, was a giga, chan, uh, tanner. giga tanner, giga tanner. Who plays soccer? Like that is like the lamest sport ever, ever, ever. Made. I did play golf. I have a couple of golf trophies as well. Are you a Tiger fan? Uh, yes, sir. Good man. Good man. I, I was, I was, I was cooler. I played curling. Hold on. Really oh, whoa. Hold like on. Whoa. Play curling? 
Wait, so, like, wait, are you being honest? Like, are you being for real? Yeah, in, in junior high school, for three years, I played curling. I don't think that's the right way to say it. Like, I, I That's what I'm curling. saying. Like, you what? don't really play curling. Like, that's not... How do you not... How do you not play it? It's a you, game. It's you a perform curling? Yeah, I, I think that's a perfect way of saying that. Because <laughs> curling is like... But I, I, took same... up, I took up curling as a hobby. I feel like that's better. I took up uh, curling but, as a, well, as a there's, extracurricular activity. There's a, clear, there's a clear language barrier. Gear is not... He's not an English speaker. He's, he's French, so... Naturally, it's... I don't consider professional sweeping as a, as a really a sport. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, they did still, have still the uh, they had the Maid Olympics here in the United States. Have you ever heard about that gear? Uh, no, but so it's like how fast you can like make a bed or like <laughs> clean the floor or like interest. Like I feel like that might be up your alley. Well, you see, with I had to quit your future had, and where you're going. I had to quit curling because my uh, deformed ankle got so bad that it ended up hurting to. Uh, are See, that's sure? a cons- that's a conspiracy. Yes. We, we have not seen anything, so who knows if that's even the truth. I'm actually in the camp of thinking that Gear just uses the ankle as an excuse, but now after he broke his wrist, I'm pretty sure just his wrists are weak and he just couldn't keep up with the sweeping. That That <laughs> is a very good point. That is a very valid How point to make, How do you fall face. off a bike and just break yourself? Like, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I've fallen off a bike before, and I have, I've been fine. Did you not roll? Like, what? what? I hit better people... yet. I I think Gear just like he didn't even brace himself. Like he didn't use his arms to cover his fall or anything. I mean, well, his face braced it for him, but he just ate the pavement. I mean, like I I don't I don't know what other way to say it. You know, if it was me that would have fallen, then I mean I most definitely wouldn't have broken anything. Just saying. Well, that's fair. I mean, I think that I think all of us. Americans would know how to how to properly brace ourselves for a simple fall such as that, you know. I mean, I mean, Cana- Canadian falls are probably a lot worse than. American no, falls. I I doubt it because they have they wear hockey pads everywhere they go. Well, let's uh, let's not beat around the bush. He did not fall <laughs> off Niagara Falls; like he just fell on the road. Well, I fell on the sidewalk, on my. That's, That's even worse. worse. Uh, he fell beside the ma- he fell beside the maple so, syrup factory. So I was like, you understand, like like if you fall on like the like if you slide on asphalt, like you know how much like your chances of so, living are. Like it's okay, so limited. Okay, so because we told the the sensationalist like based punching me in the face story last time. Here's what actually happened. I was I was going down. What? The so- <laughs> I was. Uh, oh, so this was just all a lie, gear. Okay. Let's okay. Either that or base is trying to cover up his tracks. This is getting I need to explain the physics of how all this worked because you guys can't seem to understand. So I was I was zooming down the sidewalk real fast. You know. Zoom in. So how would you describe as very fast? Like are we talking like 10, Zo- 10 15 in. miles? I don't know. Oh wait, zoom you're Canadian. So like ten kilometers, twenty. I don't twenty know. kilometers. I don't know. I I don't keep track of how fast I'm going. Anyway, but I was going down and there was a guy walking his dog. Uh, down down the road, and I'm like, okay, I uh, I gotta like get around this guy. So I I went off the sidewalk onto the grass, and I was still zooming, and I passed the guy and his dog, and I go to go back onto the sidewalk, but the grass was taller than I expected, so I didn't realize that the the sidewalk was also like the curb was higher than I expected. So when I tried to get onto it, I, like it got stuck, and it just threw me off, and I landed on my face and my wrist so first off do you guys not have bike lanes in canada uh n- not here so there's like no legal way for you to ride a bike in the street i mean you can if you're like a, a cyclist you can like ride on the streets with the cars so then why didn't you just why didn't you just ride in the street because i'm not like a, a good cyclist <laughs> what that's so very, gear. Very so first off, story. gear is breaking the law by riding in a public sidewalk. No, which, but that's by the that's way, not against the law. <laughs> here, here in America, if you're riding a bike on a public sidewalk, you're technically blocking. It's it's traffic. not like that in Florida. So uh, I think it's so, mainly in Las Vegas. So gear, you're you're just you're breaking laws. You were too dumb to really even measure the curb for when you went down into the grass area. So wait, you fell in the grass? 
No, no, I, I didn't fall on the grass. I fell on the He concrete. didn't fall on the grass, but when he was trying to get back... This is my understanding of the story. When you were trying to get back to the sidewalk, you didn't notice that the curb was up too high, and you... What, did you flip? Did you flip your bike completely? Honestly, it's a bit of a blur what exactly happened, because it was pretty wild. Like, I mean, I lost a tooth and broke my wrist. I mean, I was kind of just... I, I think, honestly, Gear, like, you just did nothing to protect yourself. It, <laughs> was, was the How fast were you going? What was your, like, mock speed? I, I have no Better, idea. Yeah, in the grass of all things, like, you cannot be going that fast I, if you're in the grass. I don't know how fast. I, I'm... On on a bike? Yeah, you uh, could. Your watch doesn't uh, track Tachi. Uh, I don't like, have... The speed what? of light? I, I don't care. I... Uh... Uh, Either Gear has a really nice bike, or he is definitely no. He the story. he doesn't have a nice like I have. He does oh. not have a twenty speed. That's for My, sure. Like, he's, like unless he's got a mountain bike. No, he's like, like a no. You have a basket for little Fido on your on the front, right? Oh God, that's like a Walmart bike. <laughs> How many Come pegs? On. Do you have pegs on one side of the bike or both sides? Do you have like a horn or like a whistle or like a bell that too that goes with your bike? No, that's probably wrapped around his like neck, like or something. You know, like. Oh, uh, that's whistles. true. He's he's got a he's got a whistle for any any people that try to rip him off his bike. Yeah, so my uh my bike is absolutely a Walmart bike, and uh, I've had it for like I don't know eight years. <laughs> so well, you could probably sue Walmart for like a, a like a loose screw or something. You think? Yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> or was this your the, fault? The bike had nothing to do with it. So you were just not paying attention. Well, here's the problem, Base. Walmart watches our podcast, so we're basically giving them the evidence, all the evidence that they need right now. So wouldn't really work to Gears' benefit by doing that. So don't sue Walmart. We love Walmart. We like Walmart. That's right. Uh, Shrug, uh, save, Shrug especially save, loves Walmart because, you know, they're uh, Mormon. Save money, live better. They're Mormon, what? so we lo- <laughs> <laughs> We're still going to keep up the Shrug is Mormon on this episode actually no he's jehovah's witness all right confirmed in this episode he's jehovah's witness all right sounds good how how'd you, how'd you guys figure me well, out hold on well we got off on a tangent we have you guys even been re- besides gear have you guys have been reading any manga or are you guys just like claim you guys are, are manga collectors i mean no one wants to know what i read because apparently it's it's out of print so you know no one reads it that's that i i have a real hot take on on why you know on out of print manga but what about you shrug uh do you not do you not read manga or seven deadly sins ruined it for you uh no uh what have i been reading uh i read through a little bit of um I got all of your lie in April, and I've been reading through that. I haven't been. I've been really busy recently. I just moved apartments, and uh, or I just moved to a new apartment, and I uh, haven't had too much of my stuff on me. So I'm just kind of uh, reading whatever. I really just get out of the box first. You, and you so, bought a like a music manga, one that relies on sound. You you, what are you, you have doing? to. You have to plug in your headphones to the back of the book. Yo, I, I do not. I got the deluxe. I got the deluxe edition, and it gave me headphones with it. You yeah. know what'd be really a cool idea, and it might sound stupid, but I'm gonna be real with you guys for a minute. But for digital manga, what if they had music to go along with the music manga? Think about mm. it. But you had like sample would, tracks. Would would so. that be a good idea to would, sell digital manga? It would be a lot of extra work on the creator's part but it I mean, would but wouldn't it give it more an incentive as to why people would want to buy digital manga i mean that's that's kind of like that would be like the only push i could ever see as to why digital only, manga would be big no, I, no 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 the only people who buy digital manga are the ones that hide it away their etchy series fan service so you don't really only need like moan, moaning and grunts really <laughs> I mean, think. well that that that, no, that is oh, also no. another limit to doujin manga like you oh, could do like a cross n- hentai, cross manga, where it has oh, sound effects. I don't like that. <laughs> What's not to like about that? I think the sound effect part of this entire think about it for Kegan Osara. <laughs> think about Ken- it. Ken- 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 Kangaroo Jack. Ken- 
Kang, uh, Kangaroo Akira. Yeah, I'm, you guys, I'm are, thinking you guys about are clowning it. on this series, but the amount of subversion that Sandrovich puts in this manga is unreal. And then Doraemon, the emotion oozes out of the panels. It is so good. Don't I'm, say oozes. That's the worst way to describe that. <laughs> literally leaks out of the panels. Yeah, it, is it moist? That, yeah, can we? Holy. Is it very moist? Yeah, can we talk the about The artwork how, is. Can we talk about how much of a Chad Sandrovich is? Like, man, he he was like a, a martial artist for like hang, 10 hang years. Hang on, we should probably save this for, for the next podcast because we got no, a lot you, to talk about we, for that. No, no, you could. We can dabble with the greatest mangaka cat. Like, there's a table of great mangaka: Neji Harabe, Sandrovich, Kohei Horikoshi. You know, there's an elite <laughs> table in the cafeteria. Oh, wait, for hold the on. Best. Wait, I think you named the three worst mangakas like, that you could really ever ever mention in the community. These are all best-selling. Um, They're best-sellers. known for one series. No, Sandrovich yeah, is Sondrovich. so talented. He is allowed to write the sequel series to Ashura, which is Omega, and How Heavy Are the Dumbbells Lift You in the same exact magazine. This guy is carrying whatever magazine it is published in. He's carrying it. He owns the magazine. You know who else owned the magazine to a to a big manga? No. Fist of the no. North Star. Who? What? What? Which one was that? Raijin. You don't you don't know who has done Fist of the North Star? No, I it was in before the nineties. I don't before I don't, the nineties. I mean like all the great all the great mangas came out before the nineties. So if it's not if it's before the nineties, then it's not good. That's what I'm hearing. And hang on, who did you say again? Tet Tetsuya Hara? Tetsuya Nomura? He he said Negi Haraba. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because he, he illustrates Fist of the North Star. The mangaka for the greatest romance series of the decade, quite possibly of the millennium. Mm, oh, I didn't know we were the, talking about the millennium. You mean so, so, putting so, shonen so romance on the you're, map. You're putting past Tezuka on like, all of this. Also, I just looked up the magazine that Kengen runs in, and he absolutely does carry it. Because, like, I, I recognize almost none of these series, and the ones I do are, like, the Persona 5 manga. So, yeah. What is it, Square Enix? No, it's uh, Urva Sunday. Oh, God. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like Shonen Sunday? Like, what? No, uh, it's Magi nothing like... In? No. It's a big Chad magazine. They care. It's you guys are gonna read the series, and you guys are gonna be floored by how good it is. Well, I don't know if Shrug's gonna read it, but I'm I'm gonna I'm, read it just so how, I can. How just... how much how much do we have to read of it? All of it's it. It's the quickest all it. twenty-seven all all of series it? you've ever read. I guarantee it. I, I can yeah I, say, I can read all of it. I I've only read twenty-three chapters. I haven't had much time to read it because I'm trying to finish my novel, but um. Your novel, it, as in, like, finish writing a novel, or like you're no, reading no, a novel? No, no, I'm reading a novel. What what um, novel are you reading? Uh, it's Firestarter from Stephen King. That's pretty gay. Yeah. Anyway, Stephen uh, King but, sucks. Yeah, but I did I did read <laughs> all of Kengen real quickly, so it definitely is going to be a fast moving one, and I am really impressed with it. It's it's been pretty fun so far. He's even got to the best it, part. It's been I pretty say... fun, as in no, entertaining, no, no. entertaining. The, entertaining the first five it's volumes good. are the are considered the weakest, and it's still good. That's that's great. So like, so do you consider a Michael Bay movie good, or do you consider it entertaining? Uh, ni- neither. <laughs> so because, neither of those things. Okay. Yeah. So what what would you consider an entertaining movie? Uh, um, I don't know. What have I seen recently? Let me go to the Letterboxd. Like it. I part watched two. Twilight last night. It it part two. Is that an entertaining movie? Um, no. It's no. it's ironically entertaining. Okay. So there, do you, is it entertaining? Right? As in, it's a bad movie, but you still found enjoyment in it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that that is basically but, the sum up no, of no, no, because that's different from just being entertaining because it's genuinely good. Well, entertainment doesn't imply good or bad. It's just that you enjoyed but, something that but, you watched, but that doesn't mean it's a good or a bad movie. Let me go. To, okay, let me go to my top three. Okay, like the Shawshank Redemption. That's entertaining. That's a good film, right? I mean, I thought Saving Private Ryan was pretty entertaining. I mean, it was. 
it was in it was like really fun like it was a heartwarming movie i think that's one that you want to bring your family to uh, and just kind of sit Sh- down and watch schindler's list oh man that that is such a heartwarming <laughs> movie i like to play that during like christmas time when like the family is just all around the camp but like the the fire and the tree and just just seeing that movie it's absolutely beautiful i like the truman show get yeah. the fuck off of here well, that's a good uh, movie. Get the <laughs> yeah. fuck out of here. Truck. Speaking of good movies, did you guys hear my earlier comment? I watched Twilight last night. Ooh, which, that's which also one? Great. Like Twilight the first one. as in the first movie? The, I Looking back, I haven't seen this movie in 10 years. I was watching it with someone, and uh, honestly, the amount of sexual tension and awkward silences is bountiful. Kind well, of I, mean, that, that was, I mean, that was the point. Also, uh, a new Twilight book came out just the other day. I heard. That's I'm, that's great. Uh, what is it I called? Uh, Mid- Midnight Sun. So it goes Twilight, New Moon, what is it, Breaking it, breaking Dawn or something? Yeah, it, it's Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and now Midnight Sun. That is terrible. But, but here's the thing. Midnight Sun isn't a sequel. It's actually a retelling of the first book from Edward's point of view. Ugh. I'm not kidding. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, let's make a Harry Potter sequel. Let's call it the, the wannabe stone, and it, it'll just be Voldemort's back perspective <laughs> of when he's wrapped <laughs> behind this guy's face. Oh, jeez. That would be awful. But mm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past... Uh, J.K. Rowling. Joanne, yeah. Yeah. So, do we want to talk about all the spicy news from Shonen Jump that came out today? What spicy news? There's never anything spicy about Shonen manga. You, you mean, hey, wait, wait, before, before you say it here, may, may I? May I do sure. the honors? Go ahead. They just announced that Tight Kubo's Magnum Opus, Burn the Witch, the series that everyone was clamoring for, the new shining star, the bright future of Shonen Jump is only going to be four chapters because they don't trust the man to do anything because Bleach sucks. I was so. I'm not going to argue with that. I mean, so what was the whole point of that deal? Like, legitimately. So basically, like, Kubo himself didn't want this to be a series. But, like, Jump was, like, they were, like, pretty much begging him to write it. So he was like, all right, fine, I'll come back for a miniseries, right? And when they said miniseries, I figured it'd be, like, you know, like, 20, 30 30 chapters. Well, he already made the one shot, but um, I I was thinking, like, 20, 30 chapters, maybe, for a miniseries. But it's literally only going to be four. (laughs) So it's, like, Oh, my gosh. Like, Uh, why waste your time? Like, I just... I know. He's not going to care. He's just going to... Get yeah. these chapters out, not think anything of it, and move He's at, on. He, he already wrote them, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's already done. He's just Like, is he even going to draw it? Like, I, I would almost guarantee, well, he, like, he his did, editors but... will just, like, take care yeah. of it for him. But, yeah, it, it's just because, like, you did the one shot for Burn the Witch. What what are four more chapters going to do? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I... Like, you can't, you can't really do much in four chapters of manga. Realistically... Even... I, I didn't even think... like one, even like one volume series can be up to like ten chapters because yeah. <laughs> realistically, so. like, did anyone like Burn the Witch? Like, did anyone think that it was just so good that it like warranted like a sequel? Yeah, or, like your a boy, continuation. What, James, yeah, your boy James Harrison, I think. What is his name? Hanson. James, James Harrison. You mean the Steeler? <laughs> the Steeler? This All Pro Steeler football player. Uh, I mean, you, I got <laughs> mix up the two all the time. <laughs> Can't ever get oh, them. Can't okay. ever get them mm. wrong. Uh, but uh, Jay, I think he's talking about James Hansen. Uh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure your boy T. Bry, he he likes he like Burn the Witch. I mean, like it. I mean, Burn the Witch. I mean, it's it was fine. I mean, it was it like was not harmless. Fine. Just you whatever. were being hypnotized by <laughs> a little bit too it's, lewd of women. <laughs> let's be honest. There just wasn't anything. Really I truthfully, to it. Like, truthfully, Gear liked Bleach because of the women. I think I I'm, think he can admit that. They took what was that girl? What was the big titty woman in Bleach? They literally ripped her out of the manga and inserted it into uh, Burn the Witch. That's what they did. Or he may. Or or he may. Yeah. No, no. The the one with bigger, um, bigger ones. There's a lot of them. There's a lot uh, of like uh, big right. tit women. It in relies Bleach. on fan service to push sales. Never mind. <laughs> 
Um, but I, I think I know who you're talking about. It's the one who uh, hung around with Toshiro. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Geez, uh, the, it's been a, it, it's the, been like a the while. blonde, oh. the blonde woman. No, she's uh, she's a she's a redhead. But I I forget. Red. It's another, another, another it's Rangiku. Rangiku. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Rangiku. Yeah, she has the oh. uh, she has the mole on her on her cheek or the beauty mark. Oh. Yeah. And good, good I'm design. interested. Like, I was under the impression the Burn the Witch anime would be like a 12 episode series, but I don't think they can do that with just four chapters. So maybe that won't be. I mean, they won't really either. have to draw out like the panels <laughs> and like, a five, yeah, I, like <laughs> one page is five minutes. Like, I. Uh, <laughs> Like, only the first and last episodes are canon, and the rest is just, like, beach episodes. Heck yeah! yeah the Bleach fans would like it. I think. Did you hear me, Tama? Wait, go, you go ahead. I'm gonna change the subject. So, I, I was just gonna... So, I'm gonna end off on this now. I think Kubo, I think, suffers the same fate as Mashima in aspects of, like, he's a good artist. But, like, as far as, like, writing good series, like, just significantly lacking... So I feel if Kubo really were to push his career, he should just be a doujin artist. Just just make some hentai, make make bank. You know? Well, he did do um he did do the character designs for um a JRPG recently. I yes, think. Yes, he so, did, you know, and that was uh, that was like a go. harem. <laughs> oh, honestly, <laughs> good. Would I feel like how Bleach ended. Kubo literally went to a Tumblr page, read off all the fanfics, and decided to make them tr come true. I, I I firmly believe that's how it happened. Well, I don't even think that because I think fanfics even had a better and more like conclusive ending than. There what are he people did. out there that like Fullbring arc, like I, genuinely. I mean, that's they're just they're stupid. That's all I'm gonna say. They have no taste, at all. They, they I'm must, really glad they must, they must I didn't read Kegan Ashura, you know. That's not true. Don't even. I'm really glad I didn't read past the Soul Society arc. Well, we all know, we all know that anytime a Bleach, if we're gonna recommend Bleach, you gotta start with Full Brain. It's the only what way. do you mean? It's not, you you gotta... Stop even saying that. No one's recommending Bleach. It's terrible. <laughs> like you know, the same way of One Piece. Just start with Thriller Bark first. The best way to read it. Exactly. I one Piece can't... is dying too. The only good one is Naruto. Let's be real here. Okay. The okay. only good one, the one that I don't think off, like Hunter. X the one Hunter that and everything. Uh, guys, I'm gonna you strongly quote, dislike. Oh, no. You know guys, what? I don't, guys, I don't Hun think Base gets the joke. No, hiatus X hiatus was so bad. I stopped at episode 100. I just couldn't do it anymore. It was so bad. Dang, it took 99 Ooh. episodes for you to figure that out. <laughs> I gave it an honest uh, honest try, but it was just they drag on these episodes. The characters look absolutely stupid. Let's not even get into the clown. Uh, what else? The arcs? What is it? What's your favorite arc? You, didn't, li you didn't like hearing the same opening for like 400 episodes? <laughs> it only had 150 or something, like 134. Well, that's my point. Like, you didn't like hearing the same opening? That the, Honestly... I'd actually listen to the opening and probably just go to the next episode and hear the opening again rather than watch Hiatus X. Okay, that's, that's fair. So there are see. people out here that literally get so excited when they hear any inkling of Hiatus X, Hiatus is returning. They like get like, oh my god, <laughs> my day is made. They have been, they do not get disappointed. Like, these people are freaks. These people are freaks. Well, it's the same with Berserk, though. I mean, like, everybody loves Berserk. Berserk is... But Circus number one on Mal, though, so let's come on. But it's not your number one. Who, who is like, this would you guy? Like to open up to that base as to why it's not your number one. You know what? I've been thinking. I have a top five. It is uh, it it's Berserk, Vinland, Vagabond, Blade of the Immortal, and Lone Wolf and Cub. But I cannot for the love of me. Wow, put them a Gekiga in, in there? Holy shit! You have a Gekiga in your top five? I, I cannot figure out where to put them, but honestly, in terms of enjoyment, I'd probably put Kengen Ashura and My Hero Academia in a, like ahead of those. Honestly, but hey. I don't think they are a better <laughs> story per se. Like if I was gonna say these are the best manga, not my favorite, that those are what I'd go with. So the real question, we're gonna we're gonna get so many great comments on the real this question, podcast. I uh, uh, yeah, out of those three samurai series that you just listed off: Blade of the Immortal, Vagabond, and Lone Wolf and Cub. Which of the three do you think is the best? It, you know what? Honestly, very different, very different stories, very different stories. Honestly, but if, you had to pick one, if I was gonna, if I was, I probably should reread 
uh, Vagabond again soon. Uh, but I would probably rate Blade of the Immortal number one. And I'm not saying... I'm Good only choice. saying that because I think Blade has a story compared to the other two. Because Vagabond doesn't really have a story. I mean, it's more of like a... It's almost like a biography in a way. Um, I could... I can agree with you with Lone Wolf Lone... and Cub because it starts out very episodic, but towards the end, after you get to about volume 14 and 15, it starts to follow a very cohesive storyline. Uh, Lone Wolf and Cub is great. However, the first 15 volumes is pretty much purely an episodic series with sprinkled no, exactly. in yeah. main story that you actually have to read it to get mm-hmm. the juice. You need to read uh, its prequel, Samurai Executioner, I'm not doing that. to get a full grasp no, on it. What about what about Samurai Eight? You know, hey, you, speaking of Samurai Eight, <laughs> you remember that guy we made a bet with? He came. Can you, Gear? Can you enlighten these people? What's going on? So, so back at like the beginning of the year, we were talking with a guy on our Discord server who was a big Samurai 8 fan, and we were making fun of it, saying it, how it was probably going to get cancelled, and he said no. So we made a bet um, essentially that if like we would win if Samurai 8 got cancelled before chapter 100, and he agreed to the bet, and we knew full well that it was really stupid because, I mean, chapter 100, it would have been like over a year away anyway. <laughs> But um, but of course it ended up getting cancelled at chapter 43 And uh, the conditions of the bet were that uh, if he lost He would have to change his name in the server to Clown for four months uh, And then he just left When he realized he lost the bet, he just completely left And uh, then like maybe six months or so passed And he actually came back uh, But we weren't letting him off the hook So now um, he, he needs to, uh, you know Spend four he months left, with Clown as the username. He left because he he doesn't take he doesn't lose he doesn't take it easily like he doesn't like losing so I don't know why he would make such a stupid bet in the first place but I don't know like there are delude like if you think about it there's so many delusional people in in like this community it is it blows my mind when you just look at when it comes yeah especially when it comes to series getting canceled like the people just the whole like, bone collection server like, is things. filled with morons it's either <laughs> trolls or morons it, it, i well uh, what i never understand is like when a series like people say the table of contents and jump doesn't matter and like to an extent you could make that argument but not when like a series is brand new and then it's like placing dead last in the table of contents every week i mean that that means something. <laughs> it means it's not doing well, right? So if, like, if uh, that were to happen where a new series comes out and jump and it just trumps Demon Slayer, or it trumps My Hero Academia, or it trumps Haikyuu, would that, would that warrant it to get a continuation? What, what do you mean? like? So for the series that do play dead last every single week in uh, Weekly Shonen Jump, and with your analogy, you were saying that if it places dead last, that it means something. If it were to supersede that, where it tops and it like becomes number five or it becomes number four for that week, do you, do you believe that that's a reason for the series? No, because how they, how they do it, they push series to the front to get like five. Like they'll do it one last time to get eyes on it to see if it garners any attention. And then it goes straight back down to the bottom because yeah. it... Yeah, the, the the reason people say it doesn't always matter it's because event because it, really it's the volume sales that are like the main thing so like if something like something like a uh, act age or chainsaw man has been like near the bottom before but those volumes sell super well so there's like no no fear well, of them let's, ever let's getting not canceled say they or whatever sell, they sell decently well they they sell very yes. respectably Here's the thing. For, let me ask this do you believe that people still buy Weekly Shonen Jump issues more so than buying a single volume in Japan? I think anymore? the culture in Japan is different. I think a lot of people pick up magazines for like, what? They're like 99 cents over there, aren't they? They read them on the train. Well, manga, but manga is super cheap over Oh, I, yeah, like, I bought... It's... Japanese manga is extremely cheap. But I think people will buy the manga for like... I mean, the magazine for like a dollar on their way, read it while on the train. All their favorite stuff's in the beginning because it's all the good stuff. And then they'll toss it when they get off when they go go yeah. to work. That's kind of how I think it works. Hmm. 
And also, I mean, you can even just, like, walk into a convenience store, read the chapter on the shelf, and then put it back and not buy well, it. Well, I mean, <laughs> like, I mean here, here in the States, if you do that, they call that loitering, and you cannot do that, so. Well, who, who knows? Like, the, you're, uh, you're, you're, should a hor- be in jail. you're a horrible person, Gear. I just hope you know that. <laughs> yeah. You deserve to be punched anyway, off your um, mic. But speaking, anyway, but speaking all this talk about cancellations, uh, we found out today there's a there's a new series getting canceled. Uh, we're going to be saying goodbye to me, Thomas Security. Is oh, that no. the one that's like? No. Is that the uh, dolphin? No, one? no, no. That's the Spy X family no. ripoff, right? <laughs> Echo the dolphin? No, 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 no. So Yozakura family is the Spy X family ripoff. Which, unfortunately, oh. has actually been, like, picking up in the sales, so that might stick around for a while. But, um, Mitama Security was, like, the Mob Psycho ripoff. Oh, good. <laughs> um, although, although some, although something I do find quite Mob amusing is that this, like, ripoff. random, this, like, random gag series out of nowhere that had been, like, selling horribly, like, throughout its entire run actually lasted longer than Samurai 8. <laughs> so... So, uh, speaking of sales, Mashal's second volume sales came out, and yeah, that's another thing. Good. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum, a Mashal Magic and Muscles, which is a Terrible fantastic series. new series. Terrible series. Um, ha- has been no. selling extremely well for a new series. In fact, I believe it placed in the volume two placed in the top ten volumes uh, of the day it came out, which is very rare for a brand new series. I th- I think there is just a resurgence of just bad manga art and people just eat it up. They just it's not I wouldn't even call I wouldn't even call Mashal's art bad. It's very it's very basic and it's not bad like one's webcomic yeah. for Mob Psycho mm-hmm. is it has charm but it's fundamentally There's... There I are, think it's bad. Yeah, it's a very but it, simple episode, but that's this my point, is though. Like, good. It's not one like, like one punch of man like, the same style that's been done before is well, like that, well, that's the thing. Ma- like Mashal does like there are moments and panels in Mashal that look kind of like amazing. <laughs> so so it's definitely uh he's a really good artist, but you know, he keeps the the style pretty but simple. But not consistent. Well, no, it, it is consistent. It's just like a, a simple style. Consistent in bad quality, not consistent with the good panels that you're referring it's, to. It's it's almost it's it's I would feel like if this gets popular, Bones is the perfect studio to animate this. Oh, definitely. It's the Absolutely, perfect studio. Yeah. They would they would do a great job of this. Cuz they can slack off for 20 like 15 minutes of the episode and then they'll just put all their budget into like the, you know, the 3 or 4 minute scenes yeah and call it a day that would be great mm. yeah uh, well, I, I'd, I'd like i'd like to see some old bones uh well, get into action. for me i don't watch anime it's a waste of time you don't even read manga shaman <laughs> I, I don't know why you're even here i don't read manga i just i, I read the good shit and unfortunately it, it's become a point where people just are so wishy-washy they just like go old manga gross get that out of my face and then I th- they i think you like ew i have your... to read <laughs> no 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 i think shaman just likes the smell of his own farts because they're you just he posts his sh- his hauls no one like 99 percent of the population doesn't know what it is and then he's sitting on his porcelain throne going yeah out of print manga this is the shit i like uh, it doesn't make sense i i, I was think i was talking to gear about this it's like collecting out-of-print Pokemon cards. Everyone knows the cards. But it doesn't work that way for manga because nobody knows the manga. Do you not who know who Astro Boy is? Like, do you not know who that is? Like, without reading the series, do you not know who Astro Boy is? Yeah, Pluto did uh, the better adaptation of it, is that? But, but you are aware of Astro Boy's existence, right? I wouldn't call Astro Boy the, the out-of-print manga that you are picking up. <laughs> Do you do you know uh, do you know Phoenix? Do you know Blackjack? Do you know these aren't? This is not what I'm talking. These are not what you're picking you up, know, Shaman. You're like, picking just, up some dude sitting on a toilet or sitting in a swamp and calling it Gakiga. I just I just <laughs> listed four series that you don't need to even know who the mangaka is to know what it is. That is how iconic and well known some of those series are. And, and you know when you hold on happens, because, you know I, I'm... because the general audience does not accept greatness for what it is. They're too busy reading generic shonen manga. Like, what is this? This fucking Mashal is 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 what people are reading now. Like that is what is good. No, in but terms the, of manga. what everyone's reading is solo leveling. They're reading Kaguya-sama. 
they're reading um what's the other big series they're reading every week uh, uh i don't know jujitsu Ka- oh chainsaw man that's that's getting pretty big that's another one but that one's up oh. there with like kengan ashura and like my hero like those are the big ones too there's like levels like do you do you not know some of the like even this was confirmed in gears discord but like the panels that are being done in chainsaw man are being ripped off from berserk what <laughs> like, do you not understand how bad hold on, that hold on. these mangaka are getting in aspects of creativity they're having to resort to other mangas to influence their series because everybody wants the same recycled crap put out Bro, if you don't think again. tezuka didn't rip off stuff from like the 20s you're out of your dang mind he didn't because there was no comics in japan you do realize that there was, there was zero... no inspiration there's just no inspiration you... You in, in do the, realize the that comics in Japan during the 1930s and the 1940s were just gag strips. There was no serious cool. stories. It doesn't being told have to be comics. in manga. It could wasn't, be anything. Wasn't Tezuka like directly inspired by Disney cartoons? Uh, technically, Disney was the one who ripped off Tezuka. Do you not know Kimba the White Lion? Hello. Yeah, but that's been debunked in that long two-hour video. That came out. Okay, gear. Not everybody sits on their ass and watches YouTube the whole day. It okay? took me like a week to get through that video, but it was great. Gear. Anyway, I look through Sean. I look. I look. I look through Sean. I look through some of Shaman's halls to see uh, what what to to what base is talking about. Like he's got like my the psychic girl. What uh, you know? This Do you type not of stuff. know who Ryoch Ikigami is? Uh, no, I don't. And I don't think nine. I don't think ninety nine percent of the viewers know here know who this is. Like this guy made, like this he made Spider Man the manga. Okay, <laughs> like this guy is legendary. What else we got? Okay, the five star stories. I don't know. One of the one of the most beautiful Jose's out there, and no one can ever tell me any different. Well, Jose I don't. I, isn't even I, a I don't think. Anymore. I don't think people could name like five Jose's. So I could name two. <laughs> You're asking name, to name five. I, I could name Nana and uh, in uh, Five Star Stories. So, yep. Where does Banana what? Fish fall into? It's a shojo. That's a shojo. Okay, that was a joke. But oh yeah, based. Have you been reading any shojo lately? How's that going? Uh yeah, actually I I read I follow one. Um, every time it comes out it's called requiem of the rose king it's so good that it's not even under shoujo beats license it's actually viz feels comfortable comfortable enough to license it under their viz media so it's the oh. superior shoujo manga so it, you, you know you should check out you should check out an old school shoujo uh based it's called uh, the rose of versailles have you ever heard of that yeah aren't they like releasing uh, like a hardcover for it right now it's uh it's being released by Udon at the oh, moment. Good. And, uh, they are doing a hardcover release. For hold, it. hold on, though. I think it would really capture. Gear, were you gonna? Were, Gear, were you just fucking gonna interrupt me again, Gear? Yes. I was gonna. Gear, s- I've had it up to here with this episode. Do we need to get Apollo as one of our hosts? Like, as much as I really don't want that to happen, do we really need him to replace you? Imagine if he edited at, our video. At least <laughs> Apollo <laughs> reads stuff that's relevant. It may be trash, but at least it's relevant. Apollo's been reading I mean, that. I would has, much rather read something good than trash. Have anyone has anyone read Kaiju number eight yet? Because that's what Apollo's no. been like hyping up now. No one cares. No He's one been cares. he was sitting in the Discord this morning, literally typing every forty five minutes. Another <laughs> hour. Know. Another hour. It's almost here. Another hour. He was, he was so excited for it, but like. <laughs> What are you talking uh, about? It's this new popular art style. It's this. It's these dark lines that Kohei Horikoshi, the godfather of dark lines. I mean, it's for real. It's <laughs> dark uh, lines. Okay, <laughs> hang on. So I can definitely make an argument for Taikubo as far as influencing dark lines in manga. Taikubo can't draw. It's literally all whiteness. <laughs> the the setting about? of Bleach is literally white background. It's not. There's not With even a story black setting. Lines. What are you talking about, Bro, base? you can't tell me one thin black line to make out a rectangle. The, the, <laughs> dude, the world is a freaking rectangle in all white. It's not creative. Bleach sucks, well, dude. And if anybody is in who's to, the, listening to this, it sucks. Who's to, who's to say that the world isn't flat, okay? And, I, like, and, obviously, and I'm going to go off on another tangent. In the Bleach tangent. universe, it's a flat world, okay? And the people who literally say Bleach has so much drip, they all wear the same goddamn thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is the most annoying thing I've ever seen. They're like, dude, no drink. What is like, happening? Drink. And I'm sitting here looking like they're all wearing the same black robes. It, it, it makes me sick. I, it's not drip. Think, it's hairstyles, if anything. I think Base really loves Bleach. Is what I'm getting out of it. I have no, no idea I, what's I going on. I made the greatest decision of my life, and I sold everything past Volume 48 of Bleach because, like I said, it, at the very last page of Volume 48, it says the end, and that's when I can <laughs> really. Get it actually end. said it, it technically says the Iran car the end, but okay, <laughs> I'll take that. It never says anything in the other. It didn't say Soul, Sicar, uh, Soul Society end, so I mean, let's be let's be honest. Technically, Fulbring says the end. <laughs> well, it should have been the end. <laughs> yeah. it shouldn't have even existed. With how bad the arc was, it should have been the end of Bleach. But surprisingly, <laughs> people still read the series despite it having its very low point. So that's a, that's actually an interesting conversation. Do you guys believe that time skips affect manga popularity? Only if story? only if it's like a bad time skip. <laughs> like, so, the Toriko time skip is terrible. I think the time skips would make sense, like, for a sense of popularity, because that is something that, I mean, if you, you if you have a time skip, then they're all like, oh, if there's, okay, so let's say for, like, example for, like, Naruto or something, uh, they talk about it in uh, one volume or one issue of Weekly Shonen Jump, then they're like, hey, there's about to be a time skip that's happened then people are going to want to catch up and be like, oh, I'm interested to see what like has happened up to this point, people who are a little behind. And then people are interested to um, see like the new designs and everything, and at least for a little bit. Not, not, I don't think that can drastically yeah, yeah. change. I, mean, I think like the the event of a time skip can be good for like you know reinvigorating interest in the series, but then it's really what happens afterwards with the story, uh, whether or not it'll like in Bleach's case, it, it was terrible. So the popularity tank. Did Bleach had a time skip. Yeah, yeah, did it? Yeah, it was at the end Fulbring. of a wrong car. Fulbring was the time skip. Yeah, it cut ahead like a year uh, and a half or something. Two but, years. Yeah, two years. But. But in the case of stuff like uh, One Piece or like Naruto and other recent series that I don't want to spoil, just had one like, uh, you know, if, if the story can stay good, then I mean it's like, and I mean I honestly I don't I, mean, I don't think One Piece or Naruto stayed as good after, but you know what I mean like people still kept reading because they were invested. That to me hits the nail on the head right there. It just it seems that shonen time skips just don't know how to work. No, I prefer there, Shippuden um, in the original there, Naruto. There, there's how really do you good for. Shippuden over one through twenty-seven of Naruto. Because no, I just no I one, said I it. That's my opinion, and I, I know I'm right. Because that's well, when the we all we sold us the three most. already know that you're wrong. Like you cannot even. You you say. three are a bunch of idiots. That's all I gotta say. Huh? What what okay, would you, you call you me? Tell me what is better about Shippuden or post time skip from Naruto that gets better. The designs. The designs. The power scaling. Uh, power scaling. The antagonists were better. The, the the overall story was just. You mean better. the shitty organization that couldn't take down who they were supposed to take down throughout the whole course of the story, or I'm sorry, they did, but then they rewrote it and said that no. Nope. Naruto's the best, the best series out of the big three. Mm, uh, no. Why? Because Naruto ended, and One Piece is still going, and it's still selling. It's still one. It's of the still declining. Ones. That's all I gotta say. Based on. It's like a logic, soap opera. No, I, on it's based logic. on facts. It's literally everything past this time skip in One Piece has been atrocious, and you know it. <laughs> Do I think that it has been better than the first 1 through 60 volumes? No, I don't. But it still continues to get really high viewership and still continues Oda to sell. Oda is giving... Oda... Like, Wano is supposed to be the big, the big 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 arc and that's all it's been is a time skip within a time skip it is so boring it is so boring i don't know there was that period of time where naruto during the great war which was like really boring way too long way too drawn boring. out like it was just fan it was just fan service like let's let's bring back zabuza let's bring back uh haku let's let's have a little bit of an arc with them yeah let, let, this is that made sense though this is totally totally surfaces as a great story by just bringing back dead characters that we've killed off in previous arcs like that that was great i loved it when they did that hello i am the robot voice who will be replacing based because his dumbass hit pause on his recording thank fuck it was only for a few minutes gear 
Have you told them about Record of Ragnarok? I did. We we clowned on it because it. Yeah, it no, looks, I didn't. It looks I was pretty I was bad. To, I was trying to sell it to them, and they just like shut me down. They're like, "This sounds awful." We have. Wait, hold on. Things. Wait, what, which one was that one? Uh, so it, this it, is the one where like gods fight off against like dead. Oh people yeah, it was like a. In order yeah, to like, save humanity, they, this is like their last chance to save humanity. So yeah, they like, like revive whoever they want to revive in order to protect them. So they yeah. they revive Jack the Ripper, a known raper who killed thousands of women. Like that. That's... Yeah, and then like, fuck you, bitch. This series exudes Chad. I masturbate in my Japanese volumes every night. Yeah, like Tom Sawyer and Sora <laughs> from Kingdom Hearts. They this like find it out. Disgusting. Like that. This is like this is a horrible series. Okay. It promotes Actually, that that sort of theme. Hold on to its so, audience. Paul Apollo actually, uh, he he elaborated later in the chat saying that how he's very invested in like Greek and Norse mythology and stuff, and he doesn't like stories that put the gods on the same level as the humans. <laughs> just no gear. Just cut the story off there. Just say <laughs> Apollo doesn't like stories. That that is a very valid point right there. He doesn't then, like anything that has a good story. But then, like a day later. He said we were talking about terrible young adult novels, and then we were saying, "Hey, what are the only good ones?" And Apollo mentioned Percy Jackson, which that's what Percy Jackson did. Like he, Percy Jackson's a human and he kills gods, so it's like, what are well, you talking about? Apollo? Percy Jackson is not an adult novel. Yeah, mm. that, Apollo that's not is an adult a novel. Lab. That is like a young no, adult novel. child no, I literature. Said, yeah, right I said there. young adult. That's what. Like I, you're, you're reading that book adult. in like third grade. I, I don't know. <laughs> what you guys were doing but yeah I, I, very... I am the greatest man that ever lived i was born to give and give and give oh, shit i mean Sean, i was reading Sean i was, was reading... reading i was reading game of thrones i was reading uh <laughs> schindler's list and like Berserk. all sorts of like like i was reading adult content in third grade you know my teachers clockwork orange my, my t- bullshit you boom or ass motherfuck and you know what? I was making money doing it, base. So your loss if you if you weren't hustling in third grade. <laughs> I don't you know if this is. I don't you know if this hustling is, gear. I don't know if this is public information, but Sh- uh, Shaman used to have a Sonic fan account on YouTube. Uh, oh my gosh, Lamal! So exposed. And back back in back in 2006, when I made my YouTube account, I had over 100 subscribers, which. Back in 2006 was quite an audience. Like you were, you were a king if you had 100 subscribers. Yeah, it was a bunch of old men looking at kids. Old men looking at kid? That didn't make any sense. You fucking moron! Can't you speak English? You, you meant to. You meant to say old men looking at a child would be the proper way of saying that. Stop being a grammar Nazi piece of shit, whore. So first off, go go back go back to third grade English because obviously you were not living when you were in third grade. He was the one picking the boogers. In I third grade. I think so. I think the tables have turned. Based, I think the uh, the truth is finally out of what you were doing. Put me in a special school because I am such a fool, and I don't need a single book to teach me how to read. Who needs stupid books? They are for petty crooks. And I will learn by studying the lessons in my oh, dreams. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. But yes. So a little bit of story behind all this. I, I will admit I was a Sonic fan. I did collect. <laughs> I did collect a lot of Sonic things. And I had a lot of valuable Sonic items. Like I do regret ever getting rid of some of it because it would be worth a lot of money nowadays. So I had the, the sealed, Funko Pop. sealed figures of Sonic from the early to late 90s that were super oh, cheap freak. that are probably worth upwards of thousands of dollars and uh yeah i donated it i just i got rid of it i was like sonic sucks and just got rid of it your actions have consequences whoa who <laughs> let sammy in who let sammy in here that yeah I... we don't we don't talk about that we don't talk about that side of youtube yeah, who likes Sonic around here? <laughs> Let's go listen Shrug, to some I Weezer think, albums. Shrug, I think you love Sonic. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go play with some Beyblades. <laughs> who can we... Beverly yeah. Hills! <laughs> yeah, um... I... You know, of all the things I have been reading, I've just... I've actually been reading the new 
Sonic comics. I, I like I, them. I asked what? you what you were reading 50 minutes ago, and you just now answered. <laughs> now you're well, cause we're, cause we were talking about manga. I didn't want to bring up well, things think... that weren't manga. Can we make fun of Shrug for acknowledging this? Any, like, everything read Shaman reads is not manga. Comic it's, book? It's just old picture books. It's old... Mm. I like I like the Sonic comics. All the, the picture ones. books. Have you ever read a Gekiga? Actually, you have. <laughs> you have read a Gekiga, but you uh, don't want to admit it. It's actually in your top five. Lone Wolf and, and Cub. You don't want to admit it. Is there's a lot of suggestive I, stuff I, in there. Like Lone Wolf and Cub is a Gekiga. Do you not know this? I yeah, but like no one uses that word. Yeah. What is a Gekiga? Uh, literally, Gear. You're not even a real manga fan. You sold. Your collection. You sold all of One Steven, Piece. You put Stephen King books in your background to your videos. Like, do you not know how shitty that is? <laughs> who the fuck likes Stephen King? Really? Like, who I mean, likes Stephen yeah, King? Yeah, Harold. Harold did. Harold Nobody not. likes Stephen if, King. If, if he Harold were still here, he'd... He can't write he can't a write. thing. And he, when he, he does, wrote, like, se- it sells wrote, horribly. S- no, it doesn't. No. Have you read the Tommy Knockers? It is like the worst book ever made. Yeah, but it still got a TV movie. Yeah, so, and it I bombed. Mean, it was like the worst thing ever. Yeah, but it got I mean, canceled like, after like the, eight episodes. Yeah, but that that was like in the eighties. That was ages ago. And do you ago. not know how many Children of the Corn movies there are that are ranked like at eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes? Like, base yeah, would have a field didn't, day. He, I don't keep track of <laughs> movies. I'm only using mouth. You know what? And I get every time Mal is down, I get tagged. I get tagged on Twitter. I get tagged in Discord. I get tagged well, on yeah, Instagram. Because, because I wonder always, why. You are the guardian of Mal. People think you I understand. am like yeah. the damn server, like like engineer, like or something. Like I have control of it. Like I mean, you see, th- this is you, this is why. Well, when you the call Mondo yourself the self-proclaimed guardian of my anime list, it doesn't yeah, make. Of it, course, there are. Everyone who says Mal doesn't matter is on Mal more than me. It's I'm, it's it's a little bit of a hypocrisy or hypocrisy. I don't even know what the word is. Hypocrisy. I'm just so we're, mad. <laughs> just... Today we're we're officially endorsing Annie List as a better <laughs> alternative to Mal because it's never down. Because no one uses so. it. The server load is zero. <laughs> is Right Stuff gonna give us a sponsorship back again? Like, are we gonna? Are right we gonna Stuff get, like, can't even ship anything out on time. I'm not, I'm it, like, it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna sponsorship back. Well, see, Right Stuff is a very interesting company in general because they're always offering good deals on retail manga, always giving out discount codes, always always giving out like coupons and whatnot. What is his name? Uch Uch Self Shelf? Is that his name? Is that how you say it? Uchi Shelf. Zach from Uchi Shelf. Uchi Shelf. Listen, open your ears. Uchi Shelf. Oh, well, hang on. Gear was talking over you, so it's not like I could hear no, you. What? You don't speak loud enough. <laughs> Use your inside Jesus voice Christ. based. Boogie Another thing has you forgot a, to learn in third grade. Boogie got a sponsorship as well. You got a big deal. But, but uh, Boogie Boogie Woogie is that his name? Boogie Snacks. Boogie Snacks. Boogie Snacks. Booger Snacks. Huh. Hey. Yeah, I, okay. I hang get... on. We're not going down to the same level as space. Okay. We're not going to. You're the one I'm that sorry. can't pronounce a name to save your life. Keegan Ashera, yeah, that that's the name of the the show, Joe. Anyways, um, I don't know. Do you guys want to do a comment comeback? There, I got a comment right here what? that we can respond to. What? It's a pretty good one. Where from where? It's, it's right here. Um, it says, "All right, you guys ready for this?" All right. Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself. Thank you guys for joining us today. Have a good one. Hey.